So you grab a notebook, you keep adding things to your to-do list with tasks that you need to complete, and then you end up feeling scattered or confused about why you're never done with work or why you're focusing on these tasks to begin with. If this sounds like you, I'm going to show you how a project management tool like Asana can help you become better at managing your projects and tasks. So today I'm going to show you how you can implement some systems and workflows to help you maintain your sanity and to also streamline your weekly workflow. And these daily and weekly tasks are all going to support the projects or quarterly goals that you set for yourself. Perhaps you're in this cycle where you feel like you're constantly having to start things from scratch. Like you wake up, you're not really sure about which project or task that you're focusing on or completing that day. And look, I've been there. Inspiration is great, but sometimes you need to organize inspiration so that it's actionable. And most importantly, you need to make sure that the projects and the tasks that you're working on are clearly defined for you so that you know exactly what to focus on and complete each day. So I'm going to show you some of the features in Asana that will help you become better at managing your projects and tasks, and you'll become less reactive with what you do in a day and more proactive and intentional with all of the tasks that you're completing each day. I also feel like it's worth mentioning that a project management tool can dramatically improve your day. I feel like there's something very positive about having the clarity in the actions that you're taking each day and how you know that these actions are supporting projects or goals that you have set for yourself. So the first thing you need to do is you need to organize your tasks. And that means that you wanna list out all of the daily, weekly, and monthly tasks that you complete. And then making sure that you identify any tasks that help support a recurring project or any specific tasks. So examples might be like, writing a weekly blog post, editing a video, scheduling content, or engaging with people on social media, or planning content for the month. So now that you have everything written out, we're gonna talk about workflows. And in this step, you might get a little bit more granular. So for example, say you need to produce a weekly video, what are some of the daily steps that you need to take in order to ensure that you have a weekly video that is published? Or say you have a business and you run a weekly team meeting, what are some of the topics that you need to discuss with your team in order to ensure that all operations of your business are running smoothly? Or say you have a monthly meeting where you do booking, like bookkeeping and accounting. What are some of the tasks that need to be completed in order to ensure that everything is running smoothly? So you need to write down every single task that needs to be completed that supports your project. A little bit of note here, consider this sort of like a space where you leave yourself clues. It's like, what? What do you need to do each week on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis so that you can reach your level of success? So now let's create a project together. And this is gonna be unique to you and what you might be managing within Asana. So it might be like a marketing plan, a content calendar, or whatever might be top of mind. And when you create the project, you can always view it by lists, by boards, or by calendar. And this is really great depending on how your mind works and how you like to organize things. And that's how you do this within Asana. So I also wanted to share the difference between projects and goals. And you know, if you're working on a project, it's something that supports your overall goal, like big picture strategic planning goal. And a project can be something like a two week sprint or something that you work on for a month or something that you work on for a quarter or for 13 weeks. Projects can be something that you complete and then there's an end date to them, or these can be like an ongoing project, like producing a weekly podcast episode or something else that supports your personal branding, business, or marketing goals. So something that I also wanted to mention are recurring tasks and checklists. You know, as you're getting the hang of Asana and how to set it up, there are some common pitfalls that I wanted to mention that can happen with any project management system, and that is going task crazy meaning that you add so many tasks that you just feel overwhelmed even before you start. So don't make this mistake. A rule that I highly recommend is to stick to completing three tasks daily on your goals or supporting projects. And I think three to five seems manageable, but you don't wanna get crazy where you have so many tasks in one day that you end up feeling behind or scattered again. So you wanna make sure that you set some boundaries around the tasks and stick to what's most important or urgent. And another thing that you can do is you want to prioritize your work, like say you work in social media marketing or you're a small business, you want to make sure that you set some goals that are specific to growth, meaning audience growth or revenue growth. And so an example is with audience growth, that might mean growing your email list, 
going live on a specific platform or being a guest on a podcast or other activities that help you attract and grow a social media platform or increase traffic to your website, for example. And then for revenue growth or for revenue goals, that could be something like creating a new product, bringing in new inventory, launching a product or service or anything that helps you generate income. If you enjoyed this video, you should consider signing up for my newsletter where I share a lot of tips, resources, and marketing strategies that can help you create content with clarity and confidence. It would also mean so much to me if you shared some feedback on what you found most helpful in this video. So please consider leaving a comment so that I can continue to bring you more valuable and actionable content. As I said earlier, inspiration is great, but I feel like we often need to organize inspiration so that it's actionable. Also, I want to encourage you to get into the habit of, yes, seeking inspiration and getting input from others, but I find that too much input can often fog our own focus. So it's good to really take some time to decompress from time to time, get clear on what's most important for you, and just start there. Once you know what's most important for you, schedule it, plan it, and start taking action. So hopefully by now you can see how properly setting up a project management tool like Asana can help you become more decisive, intentional, focused, and confident in what you're working on each day. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested, there's also this video here that helps you learn how to create a content calendar using Airtable. Until next time, keep creating.